for a long time we have made people work like machines. Anything that's a process is more machine-like. This is not people. And um, I think there's a huge opportunity by giving this time back to people. Are we on the verge of a massive uh, destruction of of, of white-collar type of jobs, much as we saw the agricultural jobs wiped out 100 years ago and maybe a lot of manufacturing jobs wiped out 30 years ago. Very likely, like the internet has changed so many um, sectors and verticals, is the, the introduction of machines that act more like people um, because they can deal with uncertainty and, and strange input definitely will bring us to that position. In IT, it's great, right? Every every that there's a huge demand for IT people to create new things, um, and we're using our best experts just to keep things up and running. Uh, the, the techies that actually lose their jobs get better jobs the next day. It's fantastic. But you wouldn't expect that to happen in other parts of the economy. There are certainly jobs that, that are hard to, hard to replace and skill sets that are easy to replace by machines, and, and you don't know what where to go next. This is deliberately why we decided to start this in IT itself, because there's such a huge demand, and it gives us the opportunity to work through what should we be doing next. We have enough data to um, give a machine this context that it needs to, to uh, work through it, and I think that we're going to see a, a few very interesting developments. What does automation mean so far, right? Yeah. Um, automation should mean that, that machines are doing something alone, autonomously. But in our language, it means that something is done in an industrial way. We have put automation equal with um, industrialization. We standardize stuff, then we consolidate it, and then we automate it. And all that is economies of scale. People put economies of scale as the same thing as automation today. But a lot of things are not standardizable. Right? It's very, very, very unlikely that you will meet the same context twice. People have no problem in dealing with these um, unpredictable contexts. If you talk to a medical student, the stuff they learn by heart most of the time is really machine processable. So I think the medical diagnostic section of medicine is one of those things that, that we really s will see a lot of AI going there. In the services industry, anything that is human interaction, I think actually those are jobs that are growing. I mean, people like to grow, like to interact with people. The front end or the interactive part is actually becoming more of a, of a people's job thing, but the back end, all these processes that get worked through to, to create a service, that certainly is something that is, that's up for automation today. I do disagree with the point that people are gonna be out of, the, out of jobs in the first place. It's not that they're not working for money and, and uh, doing that, they're just doing different things. I think today, a lot of people are in their hamster wheel, right? They, uh, a lot of us go, go to uh, their work in the morning, they like eight hours, work, 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 no purpose whatsoever, go home, and then they're tired. There's no time left, right? And, and uh, what is going to happen is that people actually get their time back and rethink what they want to do with this time.